Hello, folks. Are you ready for more adventuring action than you can handle? I know I sure am. Make sure that I'm going good. Mic check is good. Let us go forth and adventure. Let's actually prepare first. Wizard eye. And a feather fall. And that should do us nicely. And we also should just jump. Looks like I'm going to have to jump. Alright, let's see if I can do this correctly this time. Jump. Dang it. So I have a bad problem with depth perception. And behind this door is... Red stuff. I guess this is the path I have to follow or something? And if I step anywhere else, bad stuff will happen to me, apparently. I can only guess. Let's see if I can't still nick this chest from this far out. Watch out! You know what I need to do? Sound effects. I need to crank that up a little. Those sound effects are coming through awful dull and flat. With a deuce. I just could have sworn that I saw a snake try to attack me through the floor or something. Alright, so let's just heal up real quick. The last thing that you want to do is open up a treasure chest whenever you're not fully prepared for, for anything. Remember, I need to take extra special precautions because I am trying to do a no-death run of this, as always. If I die, all my loot goes straight back to zero, and I have to deal with it, which is not a good time. Not a good time at all. But that's okay, because the game has ways set up so that you can deal with death like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Read that little sign on the mic. And we open it and we find a bunch of gold. A replacement dagger for Elizabeth. It's worthless. I don't know about that. That air resistance is nice. It's not like we can find better cloaks that it's have worthless. higher AC right now, anyways. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. I'm not sure. Interesting. Let's see, ID monster, ID item. Guess he's the only person with ID item. Well, let's see. Who can use a cloak? She can't, she can't, she can't, he can't. I guess Devlin will use it. Oh, come on. There we are. Give this to Devlin, and there we go. Knowledge is power. I just had him read that book of Fire Roar, which was hanging around in my inventory for lord knows how long, so... That will help us out, I hope. Now, I'm assuming what we have to do is we have to follow this long, winding, snake-like path. There's a treasure chest out there, and I desperately want to get that. And stop wasting your magic! Alright, well... Keep following this snake like pattern. And there we go, we seem to have made it without fault. We'll have him cast Wizard Eye again. Let's see now. This looks like a pretty obvious trap room. Okay. It's probably gonna be like, let me look up. It's probably like spikes that come down from the ceiling or what have you. Nope. Looks like we're pretty good. I don't want to head straight or. Yeah, might as well. Um. Oh lordy. Okay, well, these things are glowing, so. Flick that switch, flick that switch. Flick that switch, flick that switch. Flick that switch. Off. Off. Off, please. Thank you. 
Flick switch. Flick switch. Flick switch. Stop. Oh. I started to think what might be spikes. Lots and lots of spikes. Yeah, that probably would have been instant death for our entire party. Let's just walk across this. Quick reaction saves lives. Also, this is obviously a monster door, so... Oh, jeez. Whoa! Young Kodals, and... I if this was such an obvious monster door, why did I not bless up before opening it? Well, serpent men, it looks like, of some kind. So far, no poison, though. No poison makes me happy. Cast bless on her. Ooh. I think I may have spoke too soon with the poison. I thought vampires were immune to poison. I'm wounded! Wow. I don't know how much damage they're hitting for, but whatever it is, it's way too much. Heal. Hurt. Got to get rid of those warriors. And apparently that's Serpent Man Elder, too. The Elder's probably Help! one that's poisoning. Oh, this does not look good for Homestar Runner. Let's see if we have any sort of inventory th things that we can use. Old scroll? No, that's not going to work. Do you have any tricks up your sleeve? No, you do not. I require assistance. Help! Okay, this is a good time for us to get the heck out of here. Go over the trap pit, please. Thank you. Looks like the rest of them are staying back in that corridor, which is good for us. And we got another person coming up here. And one more seems to want to come after us. And the Kodo falls down to its death and gets impaled into spikes. Well, not really, since traps only work for the player and not monsters, but the idea is much the same. Let's follow the way that we came in and go that way out, shall we? Quite the temple of pitfalls. There we go. And Elsbeth will regenerate her wounds given time, but remember, she isn't... I, I guess she isn't a full-fledged vampire yet, so... Well, I mean, she was just recently turned, so this would make her probably equivalent to something of a blood thrall, if that makes any sense. You know, something that's just newly been turned out and such. A really, really weak version of a vampire, I guess. Now let's run down this... Oh, wait. Hold on. No. Quit wasting your magic. Cast air for the... There. No more damage from going down the steep incline. Thank goodness. Since this is going to cause such a bunch of damage to us with poison, what I should probably do is try to find a way to be able to concoct a cure poison potion. And I think those kinds of potions are purple or are they green? Yellow and yellow and blue make green, so I'll try that next, assuming somebody has any remote skill math and alchemy. 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 Let us not linger. Besides, it's nighttime too. It's generally best to sleep whenever nighttime comes out so that way you don't have to worry about your characters getting uh, tired. And temple healing, I believe it does cure weakness, in fact. It's just that, well... The store's closed. Oh man, it's not a store, it's a temple. Well, if you want to wait an hour to How healed, may we serve? Walk ahead in peace. 
And that takes care of that. Maybe the problem I should, that I'm having with this... Nope, turn rate is smooth, walk sound, always run, show hits, flip on exit. I don't know what flip on exit means, but whatever. And we'll go and we'll turn in for the rest of the night. What short remainder there is of it. Have a seat. We'll be right with you. Enjoy your room. And after a quick, like, four-hour nap, we're awake again and ready to adventure. Apparently none the worse for the wear. And I'm not interested in fighting these. Do-do-do-do. 